Hey guys, it's Tim coming at you with an X-Men related video for this week. The final trailer for Deadpool 2 dropped this week and the internet has responded very positively to it. The big thing in this trailer is that it introduces us to many of the members of X-Force we had only seen briefly up to this point. But is the fact that we've seen so little of them mean that there isn't much of them to show? Or in other words, who in X-Force is going to die? With a film like Deadpool, all bets are off when it comes to who lives and who dies. If it'll make a scene funnier or act as a gotcha to someone or something, killing off established characters is definitely something that's on the table. And it's not like Deadpool's X-Force currently has that many fan favorites. Outside of Deadpool and Domino, both of whom are confirmed to be in X-Force, which likely won't be cancelled even after the Disney Fox deal goes through if Deadpool 2 does well enough, the most notable other member of the team is Shatterstar. Shatterstar, especially when he was created, is the epitome of a 90s character. A dumb head guard, one giant shoulder pad, wielding two swords with two blades each, and created by Rob Liefeld. The character gained more traction later as a member of X-Factor Investigations, when he was more fleshed out, but most people probably know Shatterstar as the angry sword guy. This film definitely is drawing on that version of the character based on his costume. While he is a founding member of X-Force in the comics, him dying would make sense. Seeing as we don't even get his power set in the trailer, it's possible he'll be killed off as a kind of take that to Rob Liefeld himself, since they can't kill off Cable or Deadpool. Speaking of characters we barely see, will Bedlam make it through the movie? Not only do we not get to see what his powers are, there's really nothing that distinct about him outside of being Terry Crews. In all the trailers, the only shots of him seem to be from one singular fight, and his head shot from when he's auditioning for X-Force. It wasn't even clear who Terry Crews was even playing in this film until this recent trailer, unless you freeze-framed over the last trailer when his head shot was shown, so likely his role was never that important to begin with. One character basically guaranteed to die is Zeitgeist, played by Bill Sarsgaard. In the comics, he was a part of the X-Force team that replaced Cables during their original run, which later were known as Ecstatics. The team was much goofier than their predecessors in terms of powers and style. For reference, this is the comic where the character Dupe spawned from. So, how did this book end? With the whole team, except Dupe, dying. I can't think of a reason to use any of this team if you didn't plan to kill them off. But what about Peter? Well, honestly, it could go either way. They wouldn't have drawn focus to him in the trailer if they didn't see some potential in what they planned to do with him. He could either die pointlessly to show how reckless Deadpool was for bringing a normal guy with them, or he could live on like Weasel and Al to be a quirky side character to Deadpool. Maybe even the new Bob. Or, as some have speculated, he could be revealed to be another character the whole time, with Colossus and Pete Wisdom being the big two guesses right now. It should be worth noting that rumor has it that early test screenings had it where everyone in X-Force except for Domino and Deadpool die when they jump out of the plane, as seen in the trailer. It seemed adding more with X-Force was a big part of the reshoots. So, there's a good chance that they all still die, they just made it to the ground this time. We'll see in a few weeks when the film finally comes out. But what do you guys think? Which X-Force members will live, and which will die? Well, as always, let us know down in the comments, and until next time, this has been Tim from the Hybrid Network, signing out. Hey guys, thanks for watching, but if you want to take your support to the next level, consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell next to it can be immediately informed whenever a new video goes up. Also check out our website for the latest news and editorials, and if you want to take your support even further, you can always consider donating to us on Patreon to help our videos get better.